What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? <laughs> Back in another uh, Fruit Outlaws Random Builds video. Today, we will be working on a trailer. Even though I've already built it, so I'm just going to be going over how I built it, because this one actually took about, I think, 20 minutes to just put together. I just started randomly putting things in places. But it turned out pretty good, I'd say. Let's go ahead and go into customizations, because that's really where it all happens. So the one thing I do have, that's the paint of the thing. Glossy, and then whatever the color that is. I think that's this. Yes, that's that little one. And any wraps? Nope, I didn't do any wraps. The main fun of it was in this. Holy crap. There's a couple here. First thing we start off with is this back part because I actually really enjoyed making that. It's sort of inspired off of the previous one. Which, yeah, was very fun to make. So I just put these down, sort of tilted them into place, put them there, make them hid hidden, and just made it look like they ended right there at a slant perfectly. Which, technically, I did do that, but still. And then this back part where that sort of just went around the corner and overlapped, I put a put the same color as the rest of the thing right there, so that I could put the Wolfram logo there and all that stuff. And then these side things as well. I have them mirrored to each side and all that stuff. And then you got the Wolfram logo with the Wolfram name down there. You gotta have that every time. And then I got where my name is: Dark Thunder Wolf on this side, and Dark Wolf Racing. On this side depends on what side you're looking from is what you see so let's see you got these also in the front just to add up a little bit of different styles then you got the flames that somehow look like wolves that are howling or a fox I don't know I just thought it looked like a wolf so I kept putting it there it's pretty cool and then you got the mud here on the tires a little bit. Well, not on the tires, but behind them. Like, it's been driven a while. I think I need to adjust the color just a tad bit. It seems like a little bit too light. Okay, this is going to keep on getting longer and longer. Then you got 4x4 off-road. Sort of tells you what I do. Then you got... Back to scrolling down, you got the Alfred Outlaws over here, you got the flag over here, with which was just a little bit of adjustment with the color and all that stuff to get at this, like this, I mean. Then you got the race championship over there beside the flag, you got redneck because, yes. Then you got built not bought on this side with a whole bunch <laughs> of, uh, what is it called, the brand logo. <laughs> And I don't feel like going through because that's just a lot of them. So whatever you want to put on this side, if you're deciding to build something like this, is up to you. I just I just started putting a ton down. Then with this built not bought one, I should kind of adjust the color for that a little bit. There you go. It it looks like it's holding up the erase part and whatever else that says. <laughs> Built, not bought. But it was technically built and bought. Yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> so, there we go. That's pretty much everything with this. So, now I reckon let's just go see how the tow rig pulls us. Let's throw a vehicle in here. What shall we throw in? Let's put this on there. Oh yeah, I gotta equip the trailer. I'm done. <laughs> uh. Okay, now let's load up the truck as there's an earthquake going on in the game, apparently. I had my camera, like, sort of angled here. To the point where I was like... What do I do? Uh... So it's like reaching the collisions of that one over there, the monster truck. The monster Mustang 302. <laughs> and it's just like freaking out and making an earthquake going. Let's go see how this thing does. Single player. 
Let's go to desert. And also, now is when the subscriber builds start coming in. Yay! Because y'all started throwing a lot at me. Like a full sand machine, some of y'all's vehicles that y'all have. Wow, that was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's see how this thing does. But y'all, y'all said a, quite a few. And keep on going with them. Keep on. Also, I'm working on a new Discord server so that y'all can actually join it and show me some pictures of what the build is that y'all are talking about. Like, if y'all have a real life, send me a picture of it, I'll build it in the game. I'm working on that, so. Till then, just like, say, like, like a tow rig, Baja vehicle, all that stuff. Like, sort of like an FG did, saying full sin machine, because why the heck not? Who wouldn't want to build a full sin machine? And this thing is actually doing very good in two wheel drive. You get a clap from me. Holy crap, you really do get a clap from me. Nice. No, I don't think I'm making it out of that one. Yeah, I, guess, I, guess, I say this thing is pretty good at hauling the trailer. Okay. Nice. There's also a crate over here, so... Right now is a good time, I reckon, to do this, so... Hope you do the outro. I hope y'all enjoyed, and... Like this trailer, let me know in the comments below what y'all think of it, and I cannot click that crate. Well, tap on that crate. So, if... If the... Well, bang, let me restart. So, let me know what y'all think about this trailer down in the comments below. And if y'all think there's anything that I can improve about it, also let me know. So, I reckon that's uh, going to end it here. Hope y'all enjoyed. See y'all later. And these trailers... Did they have collisions like this before? I feel like you just could keep on going. Interesting. Hope you enjoyed. See you later, old farmer. Have a great safe rest of your day. And peace out.